Well, hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another week of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth on Playframe. And welcome back to the Chocobo Ranch. We're here to do Chocobo chores. We're gonna find a Chocobo. Because it's the only way we're gonna be able to afford to rent a Chocobo. Where are we gonna find this Chocobo exactly? Couldn't tell you. There's the abandoned dock. Our quest marker is some ways away. That can't be right. <laughs> Surely not. That's so far. Surely it's not that far south. No, 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 no. That, no, no way. I mean, sure, fine, okay, if it is, but no. Follow the tracks to Pico. Let's start with that. Track following. This we can do. By the way, before we even actually do that, I was digging around in inventory and menus and stuff just between sessions and found lots of stuff that was kind of neat and just fun. May not be interesting to everybody, so just check the timestamps if you want to skip ahead and not <laughs> look through all of this inventory stuff. But I don't know, there was neat stuff. So let's uh, poke around real fast. Uh, not really any of this. Inventory had some kind of fun stuff, though. Just in looking at your items, it's fun seeing high-res versions of all these things. In part because there's also, like, some weird kind of, like, world-building elements that are in there. Or just the fun of seeing, hey, this is what a Phoenix Down looks like in 7. Like, in this case, I like that the antidotes stylistically look very different in design. Like, this looks like something that is Wutai made as opposed to these more kind of fancy fantasy mechanical stuff that looks probably more Shinra made. Antidotes being like a Wutaian creation. Oh, that's kind of cool. Also, there's our cushion. But even aside from that, we have uh, <laughs> fun items like these that just have kind of cool art about them. Our new Moogle coin, a medal with a Moogle on it, can be exchanged at Moogle Emporiums, wherever those are. This information we've mostly seen, but it is a good reminder for what things I need to be trying to do to unlock the abilities on these things. I've been doing pretty good with Cloud, which is just use focused thrust uh, to stagger enemies, and Aerith, conjuring her arcane ward and then casting spells within it, haven't started doing a thing for Red, mostly because I haven't been using Stardust Ray at all, and I need to hit more than one enemy with that multiple times, so we should start doing that more. And I haven't really used Barret or Tifa at all yet, but finish off enemies with Dive Kick and use Focus Shot to stagger enemies, kind of like we're doing with Cloud. But also, like, there's little bits of item description. A large broadsword that has inherited the hopes of those who fight. A Republic-era blade polished into a refined shape and sheen. So that's neat. There's the Republic again. A custom order gun commissioned specifically to take down Shinra forces. Barret's longtime right-hand man. Well-worn leather gloves that have seen their fair share of fights. A vintage and well-cared-for staff also happens to be eco-friendly. <laughs> How exactly? I'm not sure, but I'll take her word for it. And an identification collar of mithril make, developed for test subjects in Hojo's research facility. It's not like a lot there, but it's kind of neat. All of the different armor has similar stuff going on, like metal bracers from the Republic era. Cheap bangles made from leather scraps. Uh, leather from locally hunted game in the grasslands, sure. Accessories, which I've only just started dipping into. Lots of materia. Materials, if you want to see art for all these different random things. <laughs> but also, this is kind of cool. Like, not necessary, but kind of cool. Everybody has a custom folio design. Just their own little diary, I guess. That's what Barrett's looks like. Tifa's. Aerith's. And Red's. That's neat. They didn't really have to go in and make custom art for these folios that you're never going to actually 
see in game. But they did. And that's pretty cool. What else was neat in here? I guess not a whole ton. I, uh, I mean, all the enemy intel that we've been seeing and collecting is uh, going in there. I've not changed much around or done much since y'all saw last. I did put some, like, steel material on Tifa, but... And to put the new armor bangle we have on Aerith, just so she's got a little more protection. It's kind of about it, though. Oh, and I did do a little bit of item crafting with the stuff I had lying around. And now you're caught up. Let's find a chocobo. And continue learning how to fight. Especially with red. Red I've definitely not figured out yet. I watched a couple of other people's... Well, kind of skimmed through a couple other people's, like, videos about how to use the different characters effectively. There's so much depth to this combat system that people really dig in deep and find out <laughs> how to really use everyone to their fullest. Red is apparently great at counterattacking and guarding and... Parrying and like, Bingo. yeah, come on, y'all, let's go bag us a chocobo. Oh yes, yes, please. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. We're playing this by ear, Aerith. Approach Pico without being noticed. If you're in danger of being spotted by him or one of his packmates, quickly press circle to roll out of sight. You can also distract Chocobos by throwing stones as you pick uh, that you pick up. Left uh, or L1 to aim and square to throw. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Sneak, 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 sneak. Hey, Chocobo. I don't think I have a rock on me right now. Maybe I gotta pick one up. That one over there is gonna be the real problem. This one here seems pretty content to just keep looking that away, and I appreciate it. Careful. We'll have to move pretty quick. Go. Go. Whew. Okay. All right. And now we got some rocks if we need it, but yay. Hello. Don't you be minding me. In fact, what's that over there? Whatever could it be? Yes, keep staring at the rock. Haha! -ha! Got you! Sucker! Yes! Yay! Ooh! We got some golden plumes! Hello, new friend. Have a treat. Aw, isn't he just the cutest? <laughs> you know, they are kind of similar. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> the music is back. What does he want now? Do you think maybe he's still hungry? Sorry, that's all the food we had. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. Oh. <gasps> Back to the ranch it is then. Come on. To the ranch. What? Pico, wait up. Okay. Hello, other chocobos. 
Thanks for not being a pain about this. Anything else interesting around here? Probably shouldn't get too sidetracked, but... Just a little sidetracking for fun. By the way, since last week's episodes, I also did a little bit of a tweaking of audio levels. I had bumped up the voices compared to everything else to begin with last week, but I don't know, listening back through it in the edit, it still sounded a little bit muddy in places, so I'm going to keep on bumping it each week until it feels right. Some games make that easier than others. Anyway, I did it. Ah, there's our guy. <laughs> Nothing beats a little taste of home, now does it? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Not so much as a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Enough to ride? Sure, though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Once he's out of spill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea, if we ask him nice. Ain't that right. I'll need to prep his gear and all that, so why don't you wait outside? Okay. Hey, Cloud! Um. Oh. Hey there. What a pleasant surprise. You do remember me, don't you? Of course I remember you, Chormbly. Yeah. I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. We didn't know that, Chadley. No, your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. Uh -huh. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Junon, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. If we find any, we'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. And this will activate it. The Chad module, you're kidding. As the tower is close by, allow me to accompany you. <laughs> Chadley, can we roll it back a little bit about the you being created by Hojo? That's new information to me. Or if you told us last game, I sure don't remember. I feel like I'd have remembered that, Chadley. What does that mean? I'm not moving an inch until you explain yourself. Fine, fine, fine. Come on. Thanks for the Chad module. For Chads, I assume. I take your silence as a yes. Here we are. Really loving your whole Boy Scout look these days, by the way. Hmm.
Power activation confirmed. Initiating preliminary scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. Super. Ooh. After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. Works for me. Chadley will employ the data you collect to develop new materia, create new combat simulations, and embark on other scientific endeavors. Activate the Remna Wave Towers you encounter and help Chadley deepen your understanding of this world. You got yourself a deal, buddy. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia, quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? Um, none of these are the question that I was wanting to ask, Cloud. But fine. Tell me of developing materia. With each piece of world intel you collect, you will also provide me with the data I need to develop new materia. What I ultimately produce, however, is for you to decide. I look forward to finding out what we can create together. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? Maybe. I'm pretty sure I understand Remna Wave Towers, but just in case. These communications towers were built by the Republic of Junon in order to further their understanding of the planet. They scan for all manner of signals, which in turn reveal myriad locations of interest, such as long forgotten ruins and rare natural phenomena. Should you happen to stumble across a tower, please activate it. I must urge you to proceed with caution though. Feral beasts often claim these installations as their territory. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? So the Republic of Junon is Junon the Republic that everyone's been talking about. I'd always assumed that Junon was another kind of Shinra built and developed city, but maybe that suggests, if it's the same Republic, that Junon was sort of a pre-existing civilization that's basically just been conquered now. That's kind of neat, world building. Tell me of the combat simulator. With a special pair of goggles, you can do battle in a virtual arena, regardless of your real world location. That's the combat simulator, or my combat simulator, as Shinra developed the stationary models first. And fret not, it will never be obsolete. I'll keep it up to date with intel from unique enemy encounters. I will also endeavor to implement all of the summons once I finish analyzing the myths and legends surrounding them, of course. In fact, after pouring over stories from the grasslands, I have finished implementing a new one the tower and colossus known as Titan. Oh. Engage him at your leisure. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? Specific intel related tasks? Which particular task would you like to learn about? Um, all of them. Uh, sure, we'll do them in order. Life spring surveys. Simply put, life springs are formed when the life stream breaches the planet's surface. To Shinra, the volume of Mako that can be extracted from these springs is insignificant, certainly not worth the expense. But to us, they are a veritable font of knowledge. In order to tap these precious reserves, however, you will first need to find them. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. I will. Combat assignments. While it is normal for creatures to adapt to their environment, sometimes these adaptations make them a threat. I would like you to track down and eliminate these creatures and amass data on them in the process. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. Okay. Crystal analysis? In certain remote areas, fragments of planetary wisdom have coalesced into crystalline forms. Though the knowledge contained within them is vast and varied, one subject is of particular interest to me, that of summons. If you would analyze the crystals in my stead, thus extracting said knowledge from them, I can use it to enhance our materia. If you still have Neat. questions about world intel, please ask away. And finally, proto-relic salvaging. Ah, yes, I was hoping you would ask. You're welcome. I detected some strange energy signals earlier. My current theory is that they emanate from the remnants of ancient artifacts. But until we investigate, there's simply no telling what the sources might be. 
and since we have yet to identify them, I have taken the liberty of naming these objects Proto Relics. <laughs> a rather endearing name, if I may say so. At any rate, I would be grateful if you could investigate said curiosities and ultimately recover them for study. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. Works for me. Thank you, Chadley. Do you happen to have any questions about I don't. world intel and the like? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you, though. In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. I agree. With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? Oh, okay. All right. So. Chadley can develop fire and ice materia. That's new. Allows you to use fire and ice magic. Oh, neat. So there's like combination materia that can contain both like fire and ice spells. So you can have both of those equipped just with one materia slot. That's nice. Honestly, I like that a lot. Autocast Materia allows an ally to automatically use spells with a link Materia when not actually controlled in battle. Right. Morph Materia allows you to turn enemies into items with Morph. Enemies whose health has fallen below a certain amount can be defeated in this fashion. Neat. We should probably get a hold of that soon. And Auto Unique Ability Materia allows an ally to automatically use unique abilities when not actively controlled during battle. Tifa will use Unbridled Strength when not actively controlled if this Materia has been equipped. Nifty. Okay. That also seems good. Let's let's start with Morph. So I can get a head start on forgetting to use it. Spend 10 data points to create Morph Materia. Oh, there we go. Need more points to make more of this. I wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. I like your little bot there. Assessing and defeating new fiends will provide Chadley with the data he needs to update the simulator with combat challenges. Complete these challenges to earn a variety of rewards such as powerful summoning materia. Speak with Chadley to access the simulator. That's excellent, and I might. And now Titan is one that we can fight. We will maybe do that in a little bit. Happy to un have unlocked the combat simulator, though. That may be a very useful thing that I can be doing between sessions. Getting in fight practice. So that I am slightly more effective <laughs> when actually recording. So let's look at what we've now unveiled in our map here. I, I think this has given us access to what I assume are a lot of the open world kind of activities you can be doing. So various towers. Expedition Intel, Fiend Intel, which are fights, Phenomenon Intel. Oh, that's like level 17. So we, we got to do a little bit of work to uh, be ready for it. Well, that's level 17 as well. Maybe it's just red because it's dangerous. I'm not sure. Moogle Intel. <laughs> We should dip into this some, I think. Let's see if our bird's ready first. Ooh, and also talk to our friends. Yes, 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 yes. Red, red, red. Red, my friend, how are you doing? Red. Red, can we talk? No. No talking. Can we talk? No. Oh, so you're all just kind of judging me, but not giving me any opportunity to fix it. <laughs> I do really like all of them having this incredibly nonplussed icon overhead. <laughs> hey, perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. But first, here. You just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a-running. Press R1 to use your Choco Whistle and summon your bird to your side while out exploring the world. Note, you can only call a Chocobo in a region once you've wrangled that region's bird. Oh, neat. So, who here's never been on Chocoback? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. I would love that. Come on, gang. We're gonna learn to bird ride. 
Hello, Chadley. So, what do we do? Here's where we get our birds in shape for the races. What races? The gold saucers, I mean. They're a big deal in our community. Won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? Maybe I will. Pico. Pico? But ah, goodness, you're a stealthy one. And we ride! So, let's see, we can dash with the same button as usual. Oh, speak to Billy while on the... Okay, right. I was figuring it out. Whoop, whoop, sorry, Aerith. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Everyone, hang on. I got I got this under control. Everyone, wait, hang on. I got I got this. That's it's fine. We're good. We're good. Aerith, look out! <laughs> okay. But how's about we stretch his legs a bit? Use the training grounds on Bill's ranch to get the hang of chocoback riding. Pass each of the goalposts in order and complete the course as quickly as you can. Dash with R2 or L3 and jump with circle okay. Hustle de Chocobo. Heck yeah. Ooh, rank one, Crescent Moon Charm. Rank two and three, other stuff. I want the first one. Let's go. We zoom. Um, okay. I was a little worried I wasn't going to go the right way. This handle's pretty easy, though. There we go. Oh, just shy of first place, though. That was something else. You and Pico are a perfect match! Might even have what it takes to win a race or two at the Gold Saucer! We can't thank you enough, Billy. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Then you might want to swing by Calm again. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. Oh. Though, don't run off just yet. My sister's looking for help. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, she hasn't been herself since Mom left. They did dang near everything together. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. True, but moving on costs money. Hmm. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal. True. People the world over are willing to pay top gill for Cloud's hand for hire services. To track these odd jobs, open the map with that and select quests. Certain settlements will have a notice board upon which citizens in need will post job offers. Accepting a job will mark your new employer on your map. Tackle the odd jobs listed here to earn rare rewards, deepen your bonds with allies, and increase your party level. I need no further convincing. I'm in. You can warp to any unlocked waypoints, such as towns, repaired chocobo stops, and activated Remna wave towers. Press that to open the map and select a location to instantly travel to it. Note, you can only fast travel to chocobo stops once you've wrangled the region's chocobo. Neat. All right. Looks like we're going to be side questing out here for a bit. And I'm all for it. So, let's start with Chloe. And also look at this Choco Boutique thing. Ah, yes. No options available, but this seems to me like the place we're going to go for chocobo fashion. Can't wait. I got some of these plumes, by the way. Oh, goodness, I didn't know you guys had things I could rob. Why didn't you say so? 
A timeless rod, goodness. Aerith, thanks you. Sorry about the mess. Didn't... <laughs> Don't know if all these needed to be physics objects, but it is fun. <laughs> uh, sorry, you needed help. Oh, hey, you're back. I heard you might need some help. You did? Oh, I see. Billy talked to you, didn't he? I've been meaning to go pick flowers, but the planes are way too dangerous for that. I'm sorry to hear that. As a flower lover myself, I sympathize. Well, the thing is, I want to make a flower crown. Mom used to make them for us all the time. So I wanted to give it a try, but with all the monsters, I didn't know how I could. Here's an idea. Maybe we could do the picking for you? Sure. Cloud, thoughts? Probably shouldn't just be super blunt about it. I am curious, though. And I wonder if this bluntness will get us in trouble with Aerith. Let's find out. What happened to your parents? Truth is, our parents died in an accident when I was really little. Billy doesn't like to talk about it. Sorry. We used to go on these family picnics. And after we were done eating, Mom would make flower crowns for me and Billy. I'd wear mine for days. Oh, well, thank you. How do you know Sam, then? I shouldn't tell you this, but he's the reason Mom and Dad died. That's what Billy says. I don't know. He always changes the subject when I ask. Hmm. Well, thanks for the information. We'll take the job. Really? You will? The flowers grow on a hill that's got a great view of Midgar. It's kind of far, but a chocobo will get you there quick. Thank you so much. You got it. Thanks for the stuff we stole. Speaking of, Aerith, I guess we shouldn't equip that on you yet, but I'm curious to see what it is. Uh, materia and equipment. Timeless rod. It'll have another slot. That'll be great. And teach you Chrono Aegis. Uh, goodness. Great looking, too. You know, we'll, we'll get to that when we get to it. You learn the move you're on first. Lots of stuff to absorb out here. I wonder, is the is there going to be a notice board over here near all this other stuff? Maybe not. Maybe not every place has a notice board, especially if it's only got like one or two... We're really making a mess, Cloud. <laughs> well, as long as we're here... Nope, no more SP. Not yet, anyway. Okay, well, we have a chocobo now, so that's great. What do we want to start with? Whew, it's big out here. I, I'm also glad we can go back to Calm. I thought that was going to take way longer until they allowed us to go back there. I was a little bummed. I thought I'd accidentally <laughs> maybe missed some stuff and skipped ahead. But okay, so if I look over at quests, flowers from the hill, view objective on map, it's up way up there. Okay. Past Calm. So cool. We'll start heading northward on our way there and do some other things along the way, like this thing here. Let's start with the world intel up north. Bird, let's go. Bird, oh, there you are. And everybody's on... <laughs> I don't know why I read. I thought that you would be maybe running alongside... But, um, you know, this is great. I'm glad you have your own bird. <laughs> Good video game. Anyway, northward to our first open world objective. Let's go. Ooh, I found something. Look at that. You've stumbled upon a life spring. Ooh. Why don't you try scanning it? See what you uncover. Accessing the planet's figurative database should help us learn about the area. Great. Surveying life springs grants the wisdom of the life stream, revealing new points of interest. Follow a spring seeker owl to lead you to a life spring, its natural habitat. Cool. Where's the. Could that be a life stream? 
owl. There you are. Neat. I think we found it. And it has lots of stuff here. Probably need to hop off the bird, huh? Pretty. Analysis complete. And we got 10 more data points. New region intel available. Yes, please. Surveying life springs allows you to decipher the knowledge of the life... Right, right. I want to learn about the region intel. I didn't realize we were going to get, like, world lore from this. Although it kind of makes sense. Confirmed. Data received. Life springs such as this can be discovered in every region. Their potential energy output is far too minuscule for Shinra to exploit. But to us, they're fonts of intel. I encourage you to seek out more of these life springs. You got it. So hang on. Uh, region intel. Calm recent history. This humble town serves as a transport hub for the grasslands, hence the distinctive bailey built for the monitoring of commercial and private traffic. During the war with the Republic of Junon, Shinra... It's okay, there's the answer. The Republic is Junon, and there was a war. During the war with the Republic of Junon, Shinra saw fit to occupy Calm due to its stout fortifications and strategic value, and it has remained under company control ever since. As it lacks a reactor of its own, Calm is reliant on Midgar and its pipelines for a steady supply of Mako, which is stored in a large tank for regulated use. This arrangement allows the residents to enjoy both modern conveniences and a healthy environment, a combination that has attracted many new residents of late. Ten years ago, a significant portion of the town was damaged, though Shinra quickly intervened and carried out a comprehensive reconstruction effort. Details regarding the incident and the extent of the destruction are sparse. Neat. I love this. This is exactly the sort of thing I was hoping to get more of. More world information. Heck yeah. We got a lot of work to do out here. Better get back to it, I guess. Come on, gang. So that's that. We'll get this a bit later. Let's veer off back toward Calm. Because I imagine there's some more tasks to do back there, too. And we'll start with this thing. We're off! Zoom! Wait, that's a cliff. Let's not zoom in that direction, maybe. Zoom this way instead! So darn pretty out here. And boy, this does go faster with a chocobo. Found a tower, and it's a little bit guarded, but that's fine. Can't believe we got a first strike after just wandering into the pack on Chocobo back. Brad, let's see if we can get that Stardust Ray thing going. That'd be cool. Ow. Okay, pressuring one of the, uh, pressing one of the four action buttons while guarding with R1 will execute a synergy skill. Each of these skills functions differently and may require you to hold down the corresponding button or tap it in quick succession. Pressing that while guarding will provide information on these skills. These commands do not consume ATB, but rather help fill party members' ATB gauges, which, great. Furthermore, performing synergy skills for the first time with Cloud will improve his relationship with his team. Oh, cool. Okay. That's awesome. And also, good. Good to have some free skills we can do with multiple characters to build both of their ATB gauges. That would be fantastic. So if I were to do Wild Charge with Cloud... Hey, we're both hitting and both building ATB. That's rad. Awesome. Okay. Uh, we'll have a Stardust Ray. You two are close together. Let's do that. Oh, dang. We mastered it already. And boy, that hits hard. Wow. Red. You strong, buddy. Did we seriously master that already? Wow. Hang on. We did. Dang, Red just had to pull that off once, huh? Sweet. All right, well, Cloud and Aerith have almost got theirs learned as well. We should swap Barrett and Tifa in pretty soon. Not yet, though. 
Actually, let's do swap in somebody, since Red's already learned that skill and we don't have any new uh, equipment for him yet. So, party. How do we change party? They told me where to do it, and I've forgotten now. Oh, here we go. Edit party. So we've got, like, our three trios right here. The one we've been using, or we can have Baird in red, or we can have Tifa and Aerith. Let's swap Barrett in here. Go with these three for a little bit. Perfect. And... There's another tower. Okay, I got a couple more things added on. Nice. I kind of mentioned this last week, but I'm get. Hold that thought. These tough little chicks will lead you to chocobo stops. Oh, that'd be great. You look at you. You're so small. You're very cute. Is this the chocobo stop? Little friend. Hi. What have you got on your butt? Well, I can do this. Here you go. Ooh. Got another plume, and the chocobo stop is in working order. And... We can pet. <laughs> you are a cute little thing. So... Okay. So yeah, we could use one of our cushions to rest here at one of these stops that are more rundown. I'm getting it. And now this is also a place we could fast travel to, and that's nice. I don't know if there's anything here, but this does look like a point of interest, doesn't it? Like some stuff would just be around here. Or maybe just a fight. Get Fights are also good. Come on. Need more magic. Someone looks kind of shaky. Okay, we got the arcane ward going. So if we cast arrow on... This thing right now. Watch out for one more. Yeah, there's a thing mastered. Heck yes. Hey, you ready? Cloud, have we assessed everything in this group? I don't know if we have. Grasslands Wolf, yes. Orcs, no. Get on that one. I got your number. Nice. Okay, weak to fire. Great. We're learning. One more shot. That's over. Slowly learning. Where were we going? And what was I saying? Right. As I'd kind of been saying last week, it'll probably take a little while until we figure out exactly what should and shouldn't happen on camera. Because there's obviously a whole lot of open world stuff to do, and I don't know how much of it's going to actually be interesting. But let's do all of it on camera for the time being, and as we go, I'm guessing it'll become pretty obvious what stuff is and isn't interesting to watch. <laughs> Just to save y'all some time. But we got a fight up here. We haven't done fiend intel yet. Where is that happening? Somewhere up around here. Oh, across the water. Okay. Is it you? I think so. Wailing weed. 
ensure you are prepared before engaging. Hello? <laughs> My sensors are picking up some understandable confusion. It's a pleasure to meet you, Cloud. Hi. I am your personal monster assessment instrument. But since that's a mouthful, you can call me Mai. Chadley programmed me to assist you by providing detailed analyses of the fiends you encounter. I hope I can be of service to you in the many battles ahead. With that out of the way, I'm picking up unusual fiend activity nearby. To procure the biological data that we require, you'll need to complete specific objectives during combat. But don't worry, because I'll be here to help you succeed. Good luck. Thank you. I'm absorbing a lot about Chadley today. Uh, the fiends that Chadley wishes to analyze can be found in various locations throughout the world. Defeating these unique beasts and fulfilling certain battle objectives will unlock new trials in the combat simulator. You cannot flee from these battles. Good to know. Well, let's try one. Rare Mandragora variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. It may look like nothing more than a wriggling plant, but don't be fooled. Mandragora roots are capable of functioning as legs allowing them to actively pursue sunlit locations as they shift throughout the day. In case you didn't know, chocobos seem to adore feasting on the bean seeds. I can't help but wonder what this variant might taste like. Further research may prove beneficial to any chocobo raising activities. Oh. So for the sake of your feathered friends, mow those mandragoras down! I'll do my best. Nice to meet you. So we need to defeat these enemies, but also prevent them from using Quick Nap, stagger one of them, and try to defeat all of them within a time limit. Okay. Little extra challenge. Let's give this a shot. Wow. Okay, start with an assess. Allow me. Alright, weak to fire and uh ice. Exploiting its elemental weakness will pressure it. Inflicting enough damage will cause it to nap, but hitting it with powerful offensive abilities will wake it up again. Alright, that is great to know. Take the lead. Oh, right, Barrett. Barrett specializes in ranged attacks, allowing him to strike enemies Cloud can't reach with a sword. Holding down square releases a sustained burst of automatic fire. Pressing triangle will release his powerful overcharge ability, greatly filling his ATB gauge. Press triangle again to charge the depleted gauge, and press it after using an ability or a standard attack to greatly fill the overcharge gauge. So pretty much the same as before. Right. That's familiar. Yeah. All right. What spells do you have again? You have Thunder. That's not going to be one of the ones that's super useful for me right now, but, uh... Let's get... You know, let's hold off. Let, uh, on you doing something at the moment. Let's get... Let's see. Aerith, you only have Wind Materia on you right now, so also not the most useful, but... Better than nothing. Let's get your, uh... Arcane Ward down. Let's see. You have fire. Hit it. There we go. And staggered. Beautiful. Ow. Don't overdo it. Let's see. What else you got, Barrett? You've got maximum fury. And you're all charged up for it, so... Sure, go for it. Actually, no. Oh, focus shot cost two. I didn't realize that. Let's save up then for when we've got it pressured. Okay, yeah, keep going. So it's my turn? You get warped back onto your little platform and... Synergy abilities. Okay. Boy, there's a lot of mechanics in this game. <laughs> Utilizing the ATB commands marked with those little icons will grant characters synergy. When two characters share enough synergy, you can activate their synergy abilities. These not only deal tremendous damage, they also apply unique buffs like increasing limit break levels, granting unlimited MP, extending the duration of enemies who are, uh, who are staggered. Note that repeated use of a synergy ability will increase the amount of synergy required to activate it. All right. So we would need three pips if looking over to the left down there, three pips from Cloud and three from Aerith in order to do Firework Blade. Okay. So that's not ready to go yet. But maybe we can get there. Maybe we can do something like Sorceress Storm. We got one enemy near us at least. I don't know what the range on this is, but we can try. This one's for you. Take it over. 
All right, Cloud, hit this one with fire. No and then bear it. Oh, did we defeat it already? Dang. Go us. We're burning it down. We're doing good. Aerith, try... Soul Drain? Sorry, it's your turn. My turn. Did we interrupt the nap? No, we failed to interrupt the nap. Oh, well. And we were doing so good. Hit it with fire, and then if it's still alive... It's not. Yeah, we didn't manage to stop it from doing quick nap, but honestly, the fact that we did it, beat it, and within the time limit, I feel pretty good about. Given how much I'm still very much learning. That's cool, I like these. Doing pretty good so far. Let's next go... See about another... It seems like another one of those little uh, materia formations, potentially. Some world intel. Let's go find it. Off to the west. Hmm, maybe this will be easier if we just do climbing. There we are. Oh, there you are, bird. Whoa. It's so pretty out here. What a gorgeous open world. Definitely going the wrong way, but... <laughs> I'm enjoying the sights. I think I'm headed in generally the direction. Yeah, here we go. Oh, there's so much stuff here. Love the music as well. Yes, yes, Owl, I see it. Thank you. There we are. Chadley's going to be thrilled. able to locate an old Republic transmitter chip. Ooh. This chip likely contains an exceptionally rare formula. I recommend searching for it. I'd love to do that. Bygone settlement. Ooh. Okay. We'll have to find that, but also... Intel... Where did I find that again? Oh, I see. Okay, so we haven't unlocked another one of these just yet. We've, uh, done some other stuff. But, here's some more menus I didn't see. So here's a list of, like, all the combat assignments in the area. Combat simulator stuff that we can unlock, I guess? Or just ones we've not done, period. Maybe these are the ones that are not unlocked yet. And yeah, you can see the reward materia you'd get. Titan materia for this one. Some, uh... Two-star healing materia. Enemy skill. Ooh. HP up. Fire materia. Lightning. Ice. Wind. MP up. Steadfast block. A lot of stuff I definitely want. <laughs> and also materia development. So we can, like, spend some of these points for also growing and improving these things, too. Neat. I'm really looking forward to, uh, <laughs> digging into all this more. Let's go here. Let's me go find this bygone settlement that I'm very curious about. That apparently has the rare formula. And then we will make our way back up to Calm. <laughs> and see what side stuff awaits us up here. Southward! 
Chocobo, where? So, there you are. Chocobo, southward. Go. Ooh. Treasure hunting with chocobos. When the question mark icon appears above your chocobo, buried treasures nearby and waiting to be sniffed out by your feathered friend. Hold up to sniff the air. Use a uh, right stick to face the scent, and once you face in the direction of the scent, it will become visible. Follow it and press down to excavate the treasure. Okay, so hold up. Sniff, sniff. Oh, it's off this way. Eh? Uh, eh? Or is it? Chocobo? Where is it? Did we find it? Is it this way? Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's dig. Oop. Ah, uh, you missed. There we go. An emerald. Nice. Good find, I assume. Anyway, where were we? Hey, here's those ruins, the bygone settlement. Hey, Cloud, it seems that a transmuter chip is buried nearby. You should be able to sniff it out with the aid of a chocobo. Once you pinpoint its location, you can ask your bird to dig it up. With that, let the treasure hunt begin. Sounds great. Lively theme music you chose. At excavation points, your chocobo can sniff out buried transmuter chips. Do the sniffing mini game to find it. Okay. Shall we search here for that chip? I aim to, Red. <laughs> oh, this music. Okay, that away. Either it's right here or this is blocking the path. I think it might be blocking the path. So hang on. Let me get a clearer line of smell. Yes. Obtained the transmuter chip, windmill gear. That's quite the transmuter chip you found. Thank you. In fact, it was once used in the construction of windmills. Given its rarity, I would not be surprised if someone had need of such technology. Okay, um... We did bump into somebody who was... ...desiring to get some stuff up and running again. I don't know if it was here or in another uh, set of ruins. I thought those ruins were more northeasterly. But maybe... Oh, there's more artifacts to find. Okay, let's keep looking. Mm, something that way, huh? Where is it? No, oh, further that way. Okie dokie. Hmm, in here somewhere. Okay. Armor upgrades. Cool. There's one more artifact to find out here. I must have it. You. And there's number three. You can now transmute a cushion. <laughs> oh, good. That'll come in handy. We did it. Our party level's almost up to two. That's exciting. Good job, gang. <laughs> anyway, to Junon, no, to Calm. Boy, we're zooming. And hopefully going the right way, I think. Yes. This entrance should work as well as any other. It worked just fine for getting out. Real glad we can come back here sooner than I expected. Seemed like there was a lot to do. Breaking news 
at this hour, Avalanche, the anti-Shinra terrorist group responsible for the bombings in Midgar, is believed to have taken shelter in Kong. Security forces performed a thorough sweep of the town, during which time it was placed under a temporary lockdown, which has since been lifted as of this report. Thank goodness. The suspects remain at large, though public security is confident they will be apprehended soon. Local insurgents are believed to have played a role in their escape. The company will conduct a separate investigation to identify these collaborators mm. and is encouraging residents with any information to step forward. Information which leads to an arrest is subject to a reward. Hey, you still doing good? Oh, you're back. I guess that means you managed to shake Shinra. That we did. Breaking news at this hour. You take care of yourself. The anti-Shinra terrorist group responsible for the bombings in Midgar is believed to have taken shelter in Calm. Hello again, Calm. I sense there's going to be quite a lot to do in and around here. Why don't we go ahead and call it? <laughs> I will see you all tomorrow for some more side quests out and about. I can't wait. See you tomorrow. Bye!